Hey guys, this is Zach and Grayson with Dream Media Home Theater. We just arrived on another project here in Frisco and we're going to be doing episode 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos system with 4K E-Shift using an Epson 4050. Let me show you what we got here. So if you look, we're going to be using the Epson Pro Cinema 4050 in combination with the Dragonfly 110 inch high contrast gray screen. And for the speaker system, we're going to use the episode 350s front left and right and surround rear left and right and then for our overhead atmos we're going to use the 350 ic's and our center speaker we're using the episode 350 on wall lcr you guys have seen this a lot in some of our other uh, theater rooms we've done recently um, i'm gonna show you this one it is a little bit different because we are gonna have to do a little bit of uh, wiring on the receiver, we're using the uh, Denon AVR X2500 and a Pro Control Universal Remote System. Now, what we're gonna have to do in here is, if you look here front left and right, he's wired for towers, we're gonna have to pull those up and cut them into the wall. Rear of the room, these ones are pre-wired, so we're just gonna cut those in, in the pre-wired locations, and then there is no overhead Atmos wiring, so we're gonna hop up in the attic and get those wired in for him. So, Front, left, right, and center across the front. Overhead Atmos. And then our two rears. And then one sub. We're using the eight inch Evolution series. Right here. This is a ported sub from episode. All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll update you as we complete the work. Very nice. Speaker number one. Okay, let me see. I got a whole theater room here, and then I got uh, a couple of little small TV in the toilet. Speaker number two. Speaker number three. Perfect. Perfect. All right, guys, we're moving right along. You can see we got our front left, or front right, front left, front right, rear left, rear right. Had to do a little bit of work down here to get the wiring up, but we got it done. Next, we're gonna get these in ceiling Atmos speakers popped in. All right, so next we're gonna be mounting the projector top plate to the ceiling um, for the Epson 4050. Now, um, this is a cathedral adapter that is actually not included in the uh, standard mount that comes with the strong, um, um, the chief mount. So if you have a vaulted ceiling, you're gonna have to purchase this as well. If we're doing a package for you, we'll probably just throw it in for free. But um, if you guys are 
purchasing this product from us and installing it yourself or if you're having another installer in another state do it just make sure you, you realize that this is not included in part of the uh, package the bundle that this 4050 comes with it's inexpensive but necessary Grayson's just gonna be mounting this straight into the studs and the ceiling It's important whenever you're using a projector this heavy that you definitely hit studs on those little dinky ones sometimes you can put the hundred pound anchors in there and call it a day but you definitely want to make sure you're into solid wood studs to ensure that that projector is never coming down all right guys check it out so we're having to do our little trick you see us doing older homes so um we're having to cut a hole pumpkin cut behind the projector screen and then I'll pull this insulation down and now I'm gonna have to drill up through here into the next attic up here so that we can grab it because this is an exterior wall and there's just no other option so I'm gonna go ahead and get our lines fished 16-2 CL3 rated in wall wire means that has a shielding on it and it is rated you know, in the wall. Same with our HDMI, this is at 18 gigabit per second, four by four by four, 4K HDMI with HDR Dolby Vision ready. All right, and as you can see, Grayson now has a hold of the line that the fish rod is attached to and now we're gonna pull it all the way back to the projector location. And we're killing, killing two birds with one stone here. You can see I got the speaker lines and the HDMI. And here comes my lines. All right, guys, just got my hole sealed up. This is unfortunate that we had to do this, but if you want your Atmos, this is what has to be done. Now I'm gonna go down here to the bottom of the wall and I'm gonna put my wall plate on, make it look nice and clean. Just using a Datacom passer. And that's a wrap. You can see we got our high contrast screen all stretched out and our tension rods in there. This baby's looking good. One speaker line in. Perfect. 
All right, and there's our second one. In the ceiling. At most. Did you know, baby? Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're moving right along. We have uh, the center speaker mounted up on the wall here. We have the projector mount, all of our in-wall speakers installed, and now it's time to clean up and get our amplifier and uh, everything else connected. Let's do it. That looks like you still need to go. You need to rotate the projector this way. Oh, it's done. guys we're coming along got all our speakers in screen up and about to hook up the amplifier and do some calibration guys this is Zach and Grayson yes, is Dream Media we just finished up this project I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well as our demo that we just played um, this is a pretty cool little system uh, very affordable price point about six grand is the total cost of the system we have the episode 350s in the wall here at the front of the room they have a really nice clean magnetic grill these are monos polyurethane woofers and a nice magnetic grill we have our 350 installed underneath here. Really nice and slim, low profile. Literally just about as thick as the screen. So it looks looks very nice. Customers 
I'm going to be getting his furniture for the front of the room and uh, theater chairs. That's just something that's not here at the moment. And the front left speaker, also the 350 series from episode. What's really cool, guys, you can see we have rotatable tweeters. Um, in this price point, it's nice to have. So you can, yeah, it's kind of hard to find. Um, these episodes are very affordable speakers and really well built for the money. Um, if you look over here, so the rear of the room, we have our 350s, same series all the way around for our overhead Atmos. And this is the Epson 4050. I can't tell you how many of these we put in, literally. 50 to 100 already, um, and came yeah, I mean, this is a great projector for the money. I mean, you just can't beat it. It's 4K e-shift, not native 4K, um, but it produces a really nice image at a great price point. Uh, this is the home cinema model, which uh, has the, the extra bulb as well as the mount included, and it has a three-year warranty instead of the one. Um, and then here in the rear of the room, we have the 350s. Uh, in the wall for our, our surround effects. And you can see we got our tweeter rotated towards our target seating area. Um, the configuration for this system is a 5.1.2. And we're using um, the uh, eight inch element sub from episode. Little eight inch ported sub, uh, Denon, AVR X2500H, 7.2 channel receiver. We have configured as 5.1.2. And then he has an Xbox One and a Apple TV 4K for devices. Oh, and I almost forgot, uh, on the screen, guys, um, you've seen me do screen innovations, you've seen me uh, do their black diamond, slate, white. Um, this is Dragonfly, and they have um, the white as well as acoustically transparent screens, uh, their ALR screens. This is the Dragonfly high contrast gray, uh, which you've seen us use a lot in comparison or in conjunction with this, uh, 4050. You can see there's a lot of light in this room and our image is super bright and crisp. Um, whenever I go to kill the, whenever I go to kill the lights, you can see it gets even that much better. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this recap and uh, the demo that we played. We are an episode dealer, Epson dealer, um, Denon dealer, um, as well as Dragonfly dealer. We sell all of these products and we need you to purchase them to stay in business. We ship nationwide with free shipping. So if you guys don't live in the Dallas area, it's okay. We can ship this product to you and you can complete the install yourself and follow on with one of our uh, videos or you can have an installer install it for you. Um, if you do live in Dallas, we'd be happy to do the installation for you. Just give us a call or shoot us an email. Uh, and then make sure to subscribe down below for more videos uh, and like, comment, and share. This is Zach and Grayson with Dream Media. Thank you for watching.